A C B A. Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. Book nice coming at you with a quick update. So happy Monday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. I had a pretty good weekend. I was out in Maryland, went to the Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. My nephew who plays for Memphis had a game out there. Shout out to my nephew. They won. He had a great game. They robbed him of one touchdown, but he had quite a few completions. Nice little road trip with my uh, my sister and her husband and one of my nephew's uh, childhood friends and my girlfriend, Ashley. Got a chance to stop at her parents' house on the way down down there. So that was cool. Hope you guys got a chance to check out this past week's episode of the Articulated Comic Book Art Podcast. That was Friday. Episode 206 is available for your listening and viewing pleasure. It was a good episode. We talked about quite a bit. So don't forget to go back and check that out. Sunday got to do a little display and opening some things that I wanted to open for a while. Well, I had the Steel Box Wolverine open, but I was able to set them up with a couple of other Mesco figures here. Eh, you know, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm kind of falling out of love with a lot of Mesco stuff right now. Probably because of the delays and the fact that all the Rumble Society stuff keeps coming out. I mean, I do like the way these guys look together, but as you know, if you've been watching this channel, I'm not really a huge fan of this Cyclops. Gambit, I think, is their best X-Men character that they've put out so far. Cautiously optimistic about this uh, Bishop, whenever that's going to release. And how have we had no female X-Men characters yet x women if you will also messed around with the sh figure arts deadpool who i had open for a while but i was able to pair him with my little import vespa that i had originally got for the figma deadpool but this works out too i wonder if shf will explore more characters from the deadpool movie that would be interesting to see but either way he can be paired with all of the other mcu offerings that we've had so far you know for some comedic shots and what have you big big shout out to brownie j Jacob G2, who hooked me up with the uh, SHF son Gohan figure. Missed out on this figure originally. I thanked him on the podcast this past Friday too, but thank you once again. Thanked him on Instagram as well too, but really happy to have this figure. I did backtrack and get a couple of other things that I needed from the DBZ line. I talked about that in the last update on the one before the last. A couple of other Marvel Legends things I want to open. I still haven't opened the uh, Rhino figure because I think I want to like do a legit review of that figure. Didn't even open the White Vision either, but speaking of Legends, the Hasbro Pulse Instagram put up a post today that reads, Fire up your engines, Marvel Legends fans. The boys are coming in hot for a very special fan stream to kick off the newest Marvel Legends HasLab. Join Ryan, Dan, and Dwight on Friday, September 16th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time on the Hasbro Pulse YouTube channel as they reveal their hottest HasLab campaign yet. You definitely don't want to miss out. So, alluding to the fact I think now that we're going to be getting a uh, Ghost Rider themed HasLab and more than likely it'll be a car, obviously accompanied by several other things. Hopefully some great tears. Looks like we're going to get Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider. I'm hoping that there will be an opportunity for them to give us a car and a new bike so maybe two different versions of ghost rider i mentioned this a few times there are a few naysayers out there saying no way they're going to do that but we'll see what happens that'll be the 16th and then maybe four days after that on the 20th we may get some other reveal and then at the end of this month we have hasbro postcon on september 30th and october 1st so this is developing stay tuned i also reported last week how hasbro post had announced that the marvel brand panel during hasbro Hasbro PulseCon would be day one on September 30th, and today they announced that the G.I. Joe brand panel will be day two, which will be October 1st. Look like some pretty interesting uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers model kits popped up on BBTS today, too. I'll talk about that more tomorrow, but yeah, just want to touch base with you guys real quick. Thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell down there, and until next time, peace. I'm in the game, I'm grinding, I got to play 24 hours in the day, 7 days out the week I never sleep, I'm on my grizzly bear 52 weeks out the year